Mom makes the best coquito on the planet. A Puerto Rican eggnog, which just contains a lot of milk, cinnamon, rum, lots of rum. Nice. <laughs> that, like, mommy makes it really strong generally. <laughs> What's up, you guys? So I have been spending so much time here in LA, obviously working a lot, but I gotta be honest, I am super homesick. I don't know about you, but as soon as it starts getting a little bit chilly and they start adding pumpkin spice to everything, I start craving something home cooked. So I am heading back to New York to have my mom show you how to make the most incredible, the absolute most delicious winter treat. Thank you to Ancestry for sponsoring this video. So the real ones know exactly what I'm talking about. It is literally the best winter drink ever. And it is... Coquito! Hey! Yes! Okay, so mom, I know it's a little early to start craving it. It's never too early. That's, that's, that's the Puerto Rican in me, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> exactly. So mom, I actually love that you've got this earrings on. Can I see your earrings? I am... Um representing my heritage there. There you go, that's right, the cultura. Yes. Well, speaking of Puerto Rican heritage, you guys remember how we worked with Ancestry and found out a ton about our family history. Ma, did you see all the new discoveries from Ancestry? I did not. When my mom and dad started wanting to find out more about our family history, my sister and I knew that Ancestry would have the answers we were looking for. Okay, mommy, so last time, we found out how hardworking my great grandmother was and that she was born in Puerto Rico. But the question is, do you know about your great grandparents? I do not. I know nothing about them. Oh, well, you're about to find out. Are you going to make me cry again? <laughs> Prepare yourself. Okay, mom, so get this. Your great grandparents, Valentin Cardona Ivera and Margarita Rivera y Cruz, all the way back in 1910 were the parents of seven children, two boys and five girls, and Valentin is listed as being a fine coffee farmer. Wow. Did you know this? I didn't, I knew he was a farmer. I, however, I did not know it was coffee. I thought it was gandules. But let me yeah. just tell you, mom, that makes sense for why you have such a refined taste for coffee. <laughs> Mommy is the ultimate coffee drinker. She loves coffee. It clearly runs in her blood. Yes. How wild is that? Because I didn't uh, grow up with my dad, I really didn't know that much about um, his parents or his grandparents. It's never too late to learn about your history, about where you come from. It's so important. Uh, and I'm happy that at least you guys are learning now and now you'll be able to pass that on to my grandchildren. Yeah. So I'm blessed. I am. I'm really blessed. We come from some bomb boricuas in Puerto Rico who are out there making some bomb coffee. So mommy, Valentin and Margarita have a daughter, Rivera, who marries Evaristo and they have Ulpiano Alicea Rivera, your father. Wow. I know, isn't that so wild? Also, mom, check your inbox right now because I actually sent you a bunch of info. Wow. So it says that Urpiano was a private first black in the Marines, 1953. The wow. year you were born. Yes. And he's listed in the must roll or the roll call. Mom, isn't that so weird? Because that's literally the year that you were born. When I saw that, I'm like 1953, like that. You now know exactly what he was doing when you were born. Wow. We have had an incredible experience with Ancestry. It really is an awesome way to find out more about your own family history. It's also the perfect gift for anyone who's wanting to make new discoveries or connect with family over the holiday season. Head on over to Ancestry.com backslash Adrian to find out more about your family history. All right, mommy, so now that I'm like extra orgullosa de ser boricua, I am ready to come home and have you teach me how to make the ultimate boricua drink. Coquito. Let's do it. Okay, mommy, so I cannot wait to see you. I love you, bendición. Dios te bendiga, mi amor. And I will see you in just a little bit. Mwah. Besitos. Yeah. Te amo. Okay, 
Okay, so while my mom looks amazing and festive for the holidays coming up, this is as good as I can do today. Here she is, guys. Don't judge me, we're in the kitchen cooking. So today is the day I've got mom in the kitchen and we are making some coquito. Mommy's famous coquito. Literally my mom makes the best coquito. I've asked her to create a recipe that doesn't contain eggs for me because I'm not a big fan of eggs. So we are doing that. This is an alternative coquito recipe. An easy one. An easy one with no eggs. Here we go. Okay, so mom, here are all the ingredients. Point out what's what. Um, this is the reduced um, uh, cinnamon sticks with water. This is um, condensed milk, evaporated milk, and coconut milk. Nice, and that all goes in here and gets whisked together? Yes. Awesome. Let's do this. But I also want to talk with you while doing this. I'm just so curious about like where a lot of our cultures come from. Where do a lot of our traditions come from? So do you even know where Coquito comes from? I honestly don't. Uh, I'm not going to make up a story. That's not <laughs> true. All I know is that as long as I can remember uh, growing up, uh, this was part of our holiday um, tradition. The way, um, I mean, a lot of people make it without even rum if you're... Um, religious? You're, yeah, but people, there are some people that don't drink that aren't religious, they just don't drink any alcohol. This is true, I um, tend to kind yeah. of be that kind of person. I don't always want to drink, so I love the option of... Yeah, and so also what they do is, um, if they want that taste of rum, they do have the like uh, vanilla extract. They mm -hmm. have rum extract that you can add just oh, for the flavor. Oh, that gives the taste. Right. You can also, there's people in Puerto Rico that put almond, almond extract. extract. Yes, and it, they actually use the actual almonds. Almonds? Yeah. So, um, you know, you can really um, kind of like- Play it by it, ear and make it your own? Yeah, you can. But uh, the traditional way actually, which um, I most of the time do myself, is that you grate the, um, the coconut. Mom makes the best coquito on the planet, but we are doing here a quick and easy version so right. that I can learn. Right, not everyone has the time yeah. to go through this because it, it does, you have to use cloth, you have to use hot water to get um, the milk out of the coconut. So this So way, guys, this is a quick yeah. and easy version of coquito. Let's get started. I have taken two cups of water and boiled the uh, cinnamon sticks, as you can see here. So well, that's all you've got to do, just get your cinnamon sticks like that. Yeah. You're gonna put them in boiling water. Two cups, Two and cups. you reduce it to one cup. Got it, and that's what you're gonna get. And, and what, what you're going to do is, you're going to- We start with that. We're gonna pour this in here. I use a little strainer there, just in case it's like little pieces uh, from the- um, Cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks. You leave the cinnamon in there because I've seen you do that too. I actually put it in the bottles. Yeah, to when keep once, the... Just it gives it a nice flavor. Nice. Um, I am now going to um, put in the coconut milk. Okay. And you can use any... How much coconut milk was that? It was, it's two cans of, I think this is like 15 ounces. Okay, yeah. two, can, two cans of 15 yeah. ounces. We can put the amount and the ingredients and how much uh, after. Um, after. Okay, but right now this is two cans of coconut milk. Coconut milk. Not to be confused with coconut water, people. Yes, it has to be milk. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put the evaporated milk in here. Oh, my favorite. I don't know why I love evaporated milk. I'm okay. Do two cans as well. Of two that. cans of evaporated milk. We'll let you guys know the sizes of these cans. Yes. Okay. Don't cut yourself like mom almost did. Did you cut yourself? Mm -hmm. oh. Two cans. Evaporated milk. And now for the sweetness, what we add is condensed milk. My favorite. Mm -hmm. Right. So a lot of people don't know that that's how you make cafe con leche. Like the traditional way is cafe con leche is hot milk sweetened with condensed milk. Oh my god, I could literally lick that out of the can. And normally you do. I do. Not on front. Um, what is going to give it its thickness, though? This is what gives it the thickness. Really. Yes. 
because you definitely don't want it to be like a watery version of oh, coquito. So you even want even there you're seeing how kind of thick it is. Oh, okay. okay. And we put how many cans of that? We're gonna put two cans as well. Awesome. And it's really an easy thing. Um, some people, like I said, um, I, if, if I was doing it um, not for someone that doesn't like eggs, I would definitely, um, you know, if you put eggs in it, you have to cook the egg, yo egg yolk uh, with the carnation, let it cool, and then you add it to the mixture. Which sounds people, like a much more involved process. It is. Um, some people actually also uh, like to add, um, I don't know uh, what they call it, I guess it's uh, Coco Lopez. It's a, it's like a coconut milk that yeah. has a lot of sugar in it. But that's not really a, a, the traditional way of doing that. And so you're going to mix this in. So, we're about to add the rum in just a bit, but we actually have a really funny story about like how everybody knows that my mom makes bomb coquito to the point where I have people for my job. Shout out to Sonia, our stage manager at The Real. She pretty much stalks me every holiday season and she's like, I know you're not coming to work unless you have that coquito for me. So people have for years loved mom's coquito so much. We used to live across the street from some friends who were also friends with Jay-Z and Beyonce. That's a true story. And this is a true story. We came over as a gift going to this, uh, it's actually a Thanksgiving, a Friendsgiving celebration. Mm -hmm. And we brought with us a bottle of my mom's coquito. And so we were like, amazing, we walked in. Obviously that one bottle went like this, like so fast. People were like, because there's a lot of people from the East Coast as well. It's a huge Puerto Rican tradition. When you grow up in New York, everybody knows yeah. about Coquito. So it's like it's yeah. the same thing. Mm -hmm. Same thing. So they were like, yo, so Jay walks over and it's like, um, I'm gonna need my own bottle. Thank God this party was just happening across the street from me. So I literally come back to my house and I'm like, mom, Jay-Z is asking you to make him some poquito like right now. Like you need to make some, some like literally batch it up together. I, I was actually, I was making some for the following day. So luckily, like you said, I had already started on it. And when you walked in and wanted. She made it happen. And fun fact, they mixed the poquito with Duce, yeah. which everyone went crazy for it. If you don't know, that is Jay-Z's cognac. And he pretty much walked around the party. I can't make this up, you guys. He walked around the party like with my mom's bottle of coquito like this, like if it was his little baby. <laughs> and that was pretty cool. So that's probably the wildest story of my mom's coquito and making it for Jay-Z and his family who lived across the street from us for a while. Mm -hmm. So like I was telling you, Adrian, some people like it even sweeter mm -hmm. and they would add this um, cream of coconut that you can also yeah. add. Um, I am not a big fan of that because I, I don't, I, I really love for flavors. I don't, the sugar sometimes take away from the natural, the, the flavors. natural flavors. So yeah. I'm not so a big fan. So it just becomes super sweet. But again, so you didn't put any of it? I did not. I did not. I like mine sweet. Do I want some of mine? If you want, you want me to add it on? Yeah. You can. You definitely can. My version. Who's the first person that taught you how to make coquito? Honestly, I think going to my aunt's house, I saw that happening. So I, even though I wasn't taught, my mom uh, was very um, religious, yes, Pentecostal, so there was no alcohol involved. But she would- But her aunts were walling out. Her aunts that were my grandmother's sisters were not Pentecostal. But she um, tried really hard, and that's what I say that sometimes you could make this without alcohol. And that's how I learned that way. However, as I got older, I started adding the rum. Mom was like, let's turn up, people. Let's get that coquito going with that rum. But you know, it's interesting. You were saying about Jay um, putting it in his cognac. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So that means that you can actually um, make your own um, your own version of it with whatever alcohol you like. I don't think vodka would be good there. No, but stick with like 
I can see cognac, whiskey, rum, a whiskey, maybe a bourbon. Possibly. You know, you can try it. I normally use white rum. Uh, but, we have none in Claude's house today. Today we are using spice rum. Right. And so that's going to be my going version. To see, and we're going to see how that works. But that's also really cool how you take things that were traditional and you kind of right. make them your own as the years go by and from generation to generation. And now we're going mine. to add our rum, right? Okay, how and much? It. So it depends on how much you like. I, we like it strong. I don't like mine strong. So, okay, so we're going to just add maybe just one cup of rum. Yeah, I'll go with the cup, the cup sounds right. Normally, to be honest, to this type of, uh, I put Whoa. three to four cups of rum. What? Yes. And we're only putting one for mine? Yes, well, you said you didn't want some. Yeah, guys, let's keep and it light. My sister doesn't like uh, alcohol, oh, well, so, so I make it without. Else. She has it without. I didn't do it today. It's a little something, something. Yeah. By the way, you don't serve this in big glasses. No. Explain this is not that. Something, can I say something? This is really funny. I'm sorry. There are people that will come to your house and pour a eight cup, eight ounce cup of this stuff. This is not, it's not for that. It's not. It's to be sipped on. Exactly. In tiny exactly. glasses <laughs> like this, guys. Yes. This is the glass it's, it should be really, in. It's really, really funny. It really is. A little tiny, or even like a little shot glass, some people do, but mm -hmm. this is the perfect sizing. Yeah, yeah. Here we go, mom. So oh, we're going yeah. to cool it. Or are we just gonna taste it as it is right now? Mm -hmm. Normally you taste it after it's been chilled for 30 minutes, like mom said. Well, I usually, Papa usually tastes it um, when I make it. To so see he's your taste tester, yes, right? Because, Tell us about that. Yes, he does. He tells me if it needs more rum. That's the normally the, the, the thing. We are going to put just a little bit of cinnamon. Claude is jumping in to help us. Hey, Claude. Hola. Okay, so you're gonna put, Claude, you're, yeah, oh God. Ooh, She's oh gonna God, make sure on. she gets some on the table too. <laughs> Here we go. Wait, this is gonna come out. There you go. That's good. Okay. I like Jeez, a lot of I want more. Yeah, thank, okay, go, switch. You know, I just feel like my cultura means so much to me. <laughs> well, okay, honestly, it um, it's nice to have something that marks certain traditions. Yeah, and then so it's something like, that we know has been passed down from generation exactly, to generation. And it allows exactly. us to think about those that came before us and the awesome traditions that our children will have. And how important, like, the culinary experiences that so we good. that we um, tag on to holidays. Mm -hmm. I love that. My children even are like, it smells like coquito, they can't drink it. But they well, they can if it doesn't have any rum in it. Well, we just said we can do it without alcohol. Mine has the slightest bit. Claudette will definitely well, want more alcohol. She like does. Yeah, exactly. we have some family members that don't drink. Exactly. Does it. Let's but taste test my version. This is right. my recipe. No eggs, Claudette. Okay. Look, it's nice. There's no rum in here. There is rum there is. Wow, it's really light. Dad, mommy makes it really strong, generally. <laughs> Cheers, Claude. Cheers, yeah. Boricua! Oh my God. Thank you again to Ancestry for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe.